Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. If you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm back with Retro Arch. Now, if you're new to Retro Arch, go back to my previous video, how to set up Retro Arch. And then we're back here. And this, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Amstrad CPC emulator and also the Amstrad GX4000 emulator. Right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go down to Online Updater. Core Downloader. Here you'll see the Amstrad CPC Caprice 32. So click on that. Now I've already got that, so go back. The next thing we need, of course, is the, the ROMs. I've got mine in a folder here. As you can see, Amstrad, the disk files. It's easy to find with just a quick Google search for Amstrad full ROM sets. And here I've got my Amstrad GX 4000. Now these, it will play CPR files and BIN files. So wherever you get them from, like I say, quick Google search, it's not hard to find them. They will come in a full ROM set. There wasn't a lot of games released for the Amstrad GX 4000. There is a few homebrew games. So going back now to RetroArt. So you've got your ROMs in a folder. So the next thing we need to do, now I'm going to do a manual scan because I've got a lot of homebrew games. And if you look in my previous video how to do manual scan, you'll see that. So I'm going to click on that. There's my Amstrad. Go down to that. Amstrad CPC. Default core. Amstrad. And then we'll scan. Right, so that's done. Now we're going to go back up again. System name. Amstrad GX. To the top. This one. Back down. Scan. Cross and the and the Amstrad games and the the GX. Right. So we're going to click on this and run. <laughs> now with, with this. A lot of people, I've seen it all over Google, is how to get the keyboard up. So I've pressed both of my analog sticks to open up the menu. Like I say, if you follow the video on how to set this up, I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go in to options. Now as you can see here, combo key, it's got select. Some to get the keyboard up, you need to press select and start on your controller at the same time. But what I want to show you, I'm just going to go back. It doesn't work. For some reason, on some controllers it works. So, if your controller works, you're fine. If it doesn't, I'm going to show you what to do. Because a lot of people on Google have had a lot of problems so we're going to go back to options i'm going to click on this i'm going to select y now for this you're going to be selecting start and your top button on your controller which will be this one so it could be marked up anything 
X, Y, whatever. But it's that, it's that button, the top button. So I'll show you now. I'm going to go back into this. I'm going to go back out. Resume. I'm going to press start. So that's it, that's how to get your keyboard. Like I say, some games, for instance, let's go to 180. Because some games you don't need to use a keyboard, but some you do. For instance, when the option is on. See, I needed to select one. Right, so I'm going to go back out to this. So that basically is the Amstrad CPC emulator setup. So I'm going to go back out there. Right, if you run into any issues, just put it in the comments. I'll get back to you. But now we're going to go into the Amstrad GX. So the first thing we need to do, just select a game, run. It won't run. So what we need to do here, back into the options. We need to model. And we need to select the 6128 plus. back just like and there we have it now with this you don't need a keyboard it will all be done with your buttons <laughs> Out. Now, if you want to run your Amstrad, you will have to go back and change. I don't think it works, buddy. You will have to, if you look here now, so you need to go back out, options, change that back to 6128. I know it's a pain, but it just what yeah, that's what you've got to do. If you, so if you want to play Amstrad CPC games, just stick with that. But if you decide you want to play the GX, you're going to have to go into your options and change it back to that six one two eight plus. And there we have it. I think that's everything. I hope you enjoy this video. Like I say, any issues, put in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, give us a like and hit that subscribe. See you soon.